How are you today? Ugh. Oh, wow. I tell you, it's already been a day. Ah, so I want to um, start off by saying hello to all of my new subscribers. Um, I, uh, my heart, oh, my heart. Um, I got an influx of new subscribers in the last week or so. Uh, and I believe it's due to Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches. She gave me a couple call outs and or she's been talking about me on her channel because of this, <clears throat> <laughs> which seems to be getting a lot of talk lately. Um, and that's why I put out the uh, Jacob's Ladder tutorial, um, which is in my playlist down below. Uh, but I wanted to say thank you so much for all of the new people that have joined me. I hope you stick around. I hope you hit the subscribe button and um, don't forget the notification bell because, uh, you know, I'm hoping to have some good stuff coming up this year. Um, so anyways, I, yeah, I, I, I don't normally look at my subscriber rate and all that kind of stuff, but... I all of a sudden started getting messages saying, hi, I'm new here from, and I'm here from Jennifer's channel. And I was like, looked at it. And I was like, holy cow, like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> so, so I am so glad that um, you are here. Um, eventually, because I've got so many new people here, uh, I would like to do a video, maybe a Q&A um, maybe send me your questions uh, about, you know, if you want to know anything about me or my channel. Um, <clears throat> I would like to give a little bit of explanation, even to the people that have been around here for a little while that may not know the history of Crochet A. And, um, you know, a little bit more about, like, why do I call you guys my Yarnabies, right? How did the whole B thing come about? You know, so... Um, you know, so I'm, I'm thinking about doing that. Uh, put a comment down below and tell me if that's something that you'd be interested in seeing. And if so, put a comment, put a question down while you're at it. And I'll start making a list of all the, of all the questions that you guys ask. Um, I also want to say for the new people, I do have my playlist down below. I have a tutorial playlist. Uh, some of you may not know that I actually have tutorials on my channel. I will leave the link. Is it this side or this? I can never remember. I think it's this side um, for my playlist for my tutorials. Excuse me. I also have um, other stuff down below, like things that I I um, have purchased and things that I like on, on Amazon. I put the Canadian link and the U.S. link down below. Um I have a new new YouTube channel that is linked down below that I haven't started yet. I'm, I gotta get on that. Um, I do have two Etsy shops, one for my crochet patterns and one for, I make um, jewelry and I make, uh, I bring in like crystals and stuff like that. Uh, I've just taken everything down off of my Spirit Raven uh, Etsy page so that I can re-upload stuff. I, I brought in a bunch of other stuff um, before Christmas. I brought it in, uh, like, well, just for instance. Uh, where is it? I just had it here. Oh, like this. Um, these are makeup brushes, and they have crystals inside, you know. So uh, stuff like that I have that I'm going to be posting in my... Um, on my et, my other Etsy page. So yeah, so I'm thinking about making the baby sweaters that I've been making. I'm thinking about putting them on my uh, Crochet A Etsy page for sale. If anybody's interested, haven't done it yet, but you know, because I'm just starting to get back into making stuff again. But anyway, okay, so that's kind of an overview. Um. Uh, for those of you that are new, uh, I, I crochet and I talk about life stuff. 
Um, I talk about whatever I, comes out of my mouth on my channels. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> so I do yarn hauls. I do tutorials. I do just a bit of everything. Okay, so I hope you stick around. All right, let's get started. I actually did something that I said I was going to try to do, and I started making my lists again, to saying what I want to talk about. Uh, way back in the day, when I first started my channel, that's what I would do. I would write down everything I wanted to talk about, and then whether or not I had um, finished objects or uh, whips or whatever, and then I would do a shout out and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> So um, I'm going to start doing that again so that I'm not just going off on a tangent. Although some of you like when I go off on a tangent. <laughs> so, but I mean, the, the stuff I got written down is probably going to take me on a tangent. Um, so anyways, okay, here we go. Um, did you see Jennifer's latest video? Jennifer from Cinema Stitches. OMG. She looked fantastic. I have, hi Jennifer, uh, I was, uh, when I turned that video on, I was just like, ah, oh, she looks so good in that color pink. Like, I never would have guessed that, that, that she would look so vibrant in that color. Jennifer, you've got to wear that color more often. That just, it brought out the color in your skin. It Your eyes just popped. You looked great. You know, and I know you've had a lot of health stuff going on, but girl, you looked good. And you're, you, you look, you could tell that you were feeling better, you know, and, uh, I, that just bravo that shirt. I love that shirt. Holy cow. And do a tutorial on that little headband thing, man. Cause my hair is out of control. As you can see, I, I have to wear hats now because it's starting to grow out again and it's just, it's out of control. <laughs> so I might have to start wearing headbands. <laughs> um, I can't wear typical headbands because they just ride up in the back. So the one that she has on is just um, uh, a string, right? So I'm going, hmm, I wonder if that would be okay because, you know, otherwise I have to like bobby pin stuff in and I hate doing that. So, but yeah, I, I don't know if it's the shape of my head or what, but it just, it, they just ride up all the time and then they come off and it's just a whole thing. <clears throat> so, yeah. So anyway, um, go check out Jennifer's channel. Her channel will be linked down below. Everybody knows Jennifer though. I mean, it's like nothing new that I can't, I, I can't add anything new. You know, everybody knows who she is. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, also I don't know if this person that was on my Facebook page was new or if she's been around for a while. But those of you that are, have been on my Facebook page, I don't know if you saw the kerfuffle that happened on there. I ended up having to block her. Um, I don't know if she's part of this YouTube channel, but if you are, Ellie, uh, you can leave because I don't want you part of my channel either. Um, she, she asked me a question, um, on, on my Facebook page and it was all about, you know, uh, she bought some velvet yarn and it, one was a four weight, one was a five weight. <clears throat> she wanted to make a, you know, those blankets that have the cats that, um, the stitches, the drop down stitches that make you, it look like there's cats on it. She wanted to know, apparently she wanted to know if she could mix a four weight and a five weight yarn. That is not the way that she worded it in her comment. She asked for advice. So I gave her my advice. And I basically said, you know, um, because I didn't realize that she was asking if she could mix the two together. I thought she was giving me a, a wanting advice on, you know, which, which for, a four weight or a five weight would be better. And is there or an alternative or something? So somebody else had made a comment on there and said pretty much what I was going to say. Uh, and that's that, that, that yarn, the, what the heck was it? Bernat velvet or something. Um, that I, in my opinion, which she asked for, uh, I didn't think that that yarn was going to work for that pattern because it will worm. And also 
you won't be able to see the cats. I don't, th I think you need to use a four weight, like a worsted weight yarn for something like something like, like this, um, to get that definition for the cats. Well, she went off on me and she went off on the other girl as well that made the comment. Um, I will post here what she said. Um, I tell you, you guys, I couldn't block her fast enough. I knew she was going to be a going to be trouble for her to come at me like that and and say that she wasn't interested in my opinion when she asked for my opinion, um, and then to to say in big capital letters, you know, like I didn't ask for your opinion about the yarn that I'm using. Uh, like what? Yeah, you did. You totally did. You know, and then you didn't like what I had to say. Then don't ask me. Um, I, I was, I was quite pissed about this. It's the first time I've ever been attacked that brutally. Um, and I've never been attacked in my Facebook group before. And, uh, so that really ticked me off. And I, I told her here, I'll put a, I'll put the comment of what I said to her up here too. Um, but I basically told her to piss off. You know, I do, I do not need that shit on my channel. I don't need it in my Facebook group. I don't need, need it on my Instagram. Uh, and you can just take it somewhere else because I do not put up with that crap. Anybody that's been on my channel for a long period of time know that I don't put up with that crap. And I will defend my friends. I will defend, I will defend people that aren't even my friends. You know, um, I don't, I don't condone bullying at all. And I don't condone people talking to others in that manner. So, um, yeah. Uh, she seemed to be like, she was in a panic for an answer. Um, so I gave it to her. I gave her my thoughts. I, you know, um, and she didn't like what I had to say, I guess. So there's that. So for all my new people, I love you all. Uh, but if you cross me like that, I will block you. I really will. I, I don't, I don't, uh, I mean, if you come from, from Jennifer, you know, you know, I mean, Jennifer doesn't put up with that crap either. And I'm, I, I'm anytime anybody goes after Jennifer, I'm right on the video and I'm just like, Rah! you know, um, and I defend myself. I put up for myself and, uh, nobody has the right to go after a YouTuber like that. I don't give a shit who you are. You do not talk to me like that. You know, um, I, I no, <laughs> that's so wrong. You know, I don't care if you're having a bad day. You know, I don't care if you, you know, I don't, I don't care what your issue is. Um, but you don't take that issue out on me. Right especially when you ask for my help. Um, so, I mean, I, I'm there for people, you know, I, but I won't be treated like that at all. Okay. Rant over. <sighs> all right. Um, my new grandbaby, one of the loves of my life, uh, apparently is a night owl, just like grandma. <laughs> so, uh, and her, her mommy is usually a night owl. Um, but or her, his mommy is usually a night owl, but, um, you know, she likes her sleep just like me. She likes to, you know, sleep in a little bit if she can. Um, she doesn't like having her sleep disrupted. Well, Hey, you got a new baby. <laughs> so. Uh, so she's having some issues right now with sleep because he likes to stay up and he's wide eyed and he's looking around and he wants to talk and he's, but he's fussy right now. So he's, um, he's a little gassy. Tia might have to, uh, figure out a new formula for him, but yeah, he's, 
<laughs> she keeps sending me Snapchats of, and videos of him just like looking around. And she's like, dude, I need to sleep. I go to sleep. <laughs> so, uh, but he does sleep. Like he sleeps quite a bit. Uh, it's just not when Tia can sleep. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she's struggling on the struggle bus with that. But I told her, I says, hey, I'll come over and stay for a couple nights and take care of him so you can get some rest. So, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> but man, is he growing. Oh, he's, he's a little redhead. All the, all the Irish from our family and from James's family came out in that boy. And, um, yeah, she's going to have problems <laughs> when he gets older. If he's feisty. Oh, oh boy. So, yeah, but um, I'm just absolutely loving the videos and pictures that she's sending me. But it also breaks my heart because I'm thinking, oh, God, I'm missing stuff. He smiled for the first time. He giggled in his sleep. Um, he, oh, yeah. So anyways, I'm hoping to be able to get out there even for a day trip just to just to visit um take them out for lunch or something like that we'll take tea out for lunch um but on february 18th is when my niece michelle is having her baby shower <sighs> so uh yeah so that's so the whole family's getting together for that um so that's gonna be that's gonna be fun um, J uh, uh, James won't be able to make it though, cause he'll be working and so will George. So it's going to be, you know, only a couple of guys there, I guess, and a whole bunch of women. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I will be videotaping if, uh, if, you know, everybody will allow that. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, okay. So I'm gonna talk about this a little bit uh and do a little bit of a shout out here um as you all know you new people probably won't know but i last year i ran something called the movie marquee uh movie marquee challenge with heather the crochet witch okay um which was that part of it i can't remember i don't think so i don't know Anyway, I think maybe, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, I think it was. It was for the fifth element. Wow. I'm actually getting my memory. Um, so anyways, I, uh, I decided not to do it this year and I passed the torch on to Heather to do with it what she wanted. So she teamed up with two other YouTubers, um, for Amethyst Craft Works and Bella's Crochet, Bella's Crochet and Gifts. Bella's crochet. Oh God. <laughs> Sorry, sweetheart. Um, so anyways, I, uh, I've been watching what they've been doing with it and it's, oh, once again, Heather has knocked it out of the park. I am absolutely shook with the blanket that she's done so far this month. Um, and you know, so I, I would ask that you guys go and check out the three ladies channels and go subscribe and give them some yearny love. Um, I can't wait to see what comes up out with this. Um, it's I'm, I'm just glad I'm not pressured with having to do it. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of pressure. Um, and it was my idea. It was like, Oh, it's so stupid. But um, I, I found I learned a lot with doing that challenge and um pressure is not my friend so uh i may do you know one of the months or whatever like a couple of the months i may join in but uh we'll see how it goes but i'm so excited to see what these ladies come up with but what they've done is they've they've blocked it off so that heather does three six three or four months worth of picking names of uh, movies and then you know it goes on to the other ladies and they have you know, they're, they all get like, they're all taking turns picking. So, um, yeah, it's going to be really fun. It's going to be really fun watching them. I'm excited about it. So, yeah. So their links will be down below. Okay. 
Um, yesterday, oh God, what a fiasco. Yesterday I had to kick off work. Um, I, I had to drop my shift because uh, we had our bathroom sink was plugged. It's been plugged for about a week now. But we've been having problems with that sink the whole time I've been in this house. <clears throat> and we thought it was because it was copper piping and the piping's really small. So um, we've had plumbers look at that. Like this cabinet here is actually blocking. Um, behind here is a mirror that's attached to the wall. And down below is where a sink used to be. Why they put a sink in a bedroom, I don't know. But... Um, when I used to have my craft room in here, when I was doing painting and, um, I was making masks and like, I was doing a lot of different crafts. It was very handy having that industrial sink here, but there's piping that goes down into the floor. There's like two pipes about that tall above the floor. And then there's a big hole in the wall where you can see the pipes that go to the bathroom. Right. So because the bathroom is like right there in the other room. So um, I had to have the, the plumber come in and take a big chunk out of the wall in here to shut up all the water off that comes into this room and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So anyways, when that happened, they told me that the piping was old. It was all copper piping and it was very thin, very small. And so I thought, OK, well, that's why. I was having issues with that sink. The toilet in there is talking back to us. So when we flush the toilet, it back flashes and it. <laughs> I, all this time, I've been blaming George for peeing on the floor <laughs> in the middle of the night. And it wasn't him. <laughs> it was the toilet flushing back at us. Mm, okay. I thought it was a man thing. <laughs> <laughs> sorry sweetheart <laughs> um so anyway uh so the plumber came yesterday and he actually t <laughs> we thought oh god our sewer probably backed up and uh, we've got to get a new sewer line like we had a nightmare in our head about this so he says okay well let's try this and he takes his shop back puts it on the in the sink and pulls all the water out and lo and behold, he looks down there and he goes, there's something green in there. I'm like, green? He says, yeah, I don't know if that's a hair scrunchie or what the heck it is. I'm like, a hair scrunchie? How the heck would that get? No. So I looked down there and it was a tooth flosser. You know those tooth flossers that you can get? There was two of them in there. Now, this sinkhole is like this big. How that got down in there, I don't know. Um, but I think what happened was like the, there's a mirror right above the sink that you can open and the tooth flossers are in there. So I think the bag must have fallen out once and a couple of the flossers went, oops, George is trying to call me. I think the flossers went down in there. How long they've been there? I don't know. Uh, why is my phone moving? Okay. That was weird. Okay, it's moving still. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, he says, well, the, he pulled those out and he says, well, there's something else down there. So he had to go underneath the sink and unscrew it. And he pulled out this chain that was about that long and it had this plastic disc piece on it. Um, and I was like, what the heck is that? It's It looked like it was a chain you know how in the old days they, they'd have the chain attached to the sink that had the plug? It was kind of like that. That must have been in there for years because we've never had a chain on that sink. So um, it was like way before when George lived in the house. So anyways, he pulled that out and I'll tell you that sink, it works like hot damn now. It just flows and... I've never had it flow like that. I was just like, oh my God. So I, I am so glad it was just that. Um, and it, and we don't have to spend thousands of dollars that we don't have uh, trying to get a new sewer line. 
<laughs> George and I were having a panic attack. More George so than me. But oh my God. So anyway, so that was a whole thing. <laughs> it's like, whoo! Ah. Um, also, uh, if you could do me a big favor and go to Sandy Duda at, at Leftist Right Crochet's channel and give her some yarny love. Um, she, she's having a bit of a time. Um, she's had, I think she talked about it on her live maybe, but her back's really bugging her. Um, and she had to go in for some shots and stuff to try and fix what's going on. Um, I did talk to her. She's doing fantastic. I am so glad that she's getting some relief. Um, because I, man, I know back pain, but not, not like her back pain. Holy cow. Um, so I am so thankful that this helped her out. Uh, and, oh, I just want to go and give her a hug. I just, if you're watching me, I know you're probably watching me. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I just want to, I just want to, yeah. I wish I could be there to help and all the things, you know, you know how I feel. So if you could do that, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Um, oh, and go over to Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. I, I'll leave these links down below. Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. Um, she put out a video uh, where she's talking about mental health stuff. Totally get it. Everything she said is me. I may not show it on my channel. Um, I, I'm good at faking it. <laughs> uh, and, um, it, but I totally get what she's saying. I don't have fibromyalgia, but man, I got all the stuff she's talking about. All the anxiety and the fear and the, yeah. Oh man. And COVID just made it worse. So, um, I'm starting to kind of try to get out of that. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> so go get her some, her some yarny love as well. Oh, so I contacted Furls. As some of you will know, I broke another Furls hook. And a lot of you said that's why you won't buy Furls and that it's too expensive for, you know, if they break and all that. I want to stay, say something. It, that my, the three hooks that I broke since Christmas was not Furls' fault. It was my dumb ass fault because I dropped it. Um, the two hooks that I broke at Christmas time, they were like a four millimeter hook. So the tip on them, um, broke off like nothing. I dropped them on a hardwood floor, not on a carpeted floor. Uh, same with this last one. Um, it slipped out of my hand because I, I had too many things in my hand and it was my fault. It was not Furl's fault. I have had my Furl's for four years. All of my Furl's hooks. I've got many Furl's hooks. Not as much as Chris out there. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, Chris, uh, my one of my Yarn Beaks, Chris, she sent me pictures of her Furl's collection. Huh, I gotta catch up. Holy cow. Um, I've had all of my Furl's hooks for years. Never broke a one. Not one. Um, so with all the money that I've spent on my furls hooks, I, I can't say enough about them. They have saved my hands. Um, I'm not, you know, I mean, if you don't like them, you don't like them. That's why I did sisterhood of the traveling hook a couple of years back. Right. So that I sent those furls hooks around so people could try them before they bought them. Right. And also the divot hooks that are on Amazon are like 12 bucks right? They're very, very, very similar to furls. So you can buy that and you can try it out to see if you like it before you buy a furls, right? So try to set you guys up for success. <laughs> um, so anyways, by no means was it furls' fault. It was not a flaw in their design. It was, it was my stupidity, right? Um, I'm thinking I may have to put a carpeted piece in front of the couch where I am because all three hooks got broken in the same space, same spot right at my couch. So anyways, I contacted Furls. I told them, I says, I love your company. Your hooks are the only hooks that I ever use. Um, I said, I was absolutely devastated when I broke these three hooks. I 
I've replaced the other two. I says, but this hook, I says, I just, I, it was a dumbass thing, you know, that happened. <clears throat> Um, and I told, I talked to them about the affiliate link. Like I said, I want, I wanted to get an affiliate link, but for some reason it wasn't accepted. Like, I don't know what happened. Um, so anyways, she contacted me, Victoria called me back or contacted me through email. Oh, my heart. She sent, she sent me a new furls hook. She said, pick any hook you want and we'll replace it. I was like, O M G. I, that, that meant so much to me. They didn't have to do that. They did not have to do that. Um, but they did, uh, their customer service is top notch. It really is. Um, so I picked a tinsel hook. <laughs> it was a glitter hook that I, that I broke twice. Um, but instead, I decided to get another tinsel hook because I really, 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 really like that hook. So I'm waiting for that to come. She explained to me how to do the application and everything for the uh, affiliate link. So I've done that. I'm waiting to hear back. Um, and hopefully I can be an affiliate because I absolutely love this company. Even if you don't buy the hooks, there's other things excuse me, other things like their yarn and stuff on their site. Um, there's accessories on there. There's patterns. There's like lots that they offer. So I'm hoping that their affiliate is going to go through. And maybe if I'm lucky, uh, I will get a coupon code for you guys. I hope because I, you know, I know there's a lot of you out there that cannot afford a, um, a furls hook. So just an FYI. You remember that hook that Angela got me for Christmas? I had just bought a whole bunch of hooks. The same hooks. So I have one tucked away that I'm going to be doing in a giveaway. Oh. Yes. So I don't know when I'm going to do that giveaway. Maybe I'll do it for Valentine's Day or something. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yes, I do. I've got one tucked away. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Okay. Um, I went to the post office. I haven't been to the post office in quite some time. Um, probably since Christmas. And I got two cards. Two cards in the mail. That um, I didn't realize were there. I feel so bad. I am so sorry. So... I'm going to tell you this one is from Sue in Junction City, Kansas. Is that Kansas? Chaos? K Kansas? Not up on my states. It's still January, so I can still do Christmas cards, right? Oh, look at that. Season's greetings. I just love that bird. Oh. Thank you so much, so very much for sharing your time with all of us. You brighten my day. Oh, thank you so much, Susan. Oh, you guys brighten my day too. You know, without you guys, I don't know how I'd get through. I really don't. Um. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> this is from Angela. Not, I, not that Angela. <laughs> This is from a different Angela. Oh, look at this card. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love that. Oh. Oh, Happy New Year, Sandy. Oh, love your yarny friend, Angela. Thank you. Look, she's even got a little reindeer. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, I just love that. So thank you so much, you guys. Like, that just warms me. It really does. I love when I get happy mail. Because it just makes me feel like a, a, deep, a deep connection with you guys. You know, like, just the thought that you guys are thinking about me enough to, you know, send me something like that. That just, oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, not going to tear up. 
Okay, getting on to yarny stuff now. We're already like a, at a half an hour, so yeah. Okay, I went out, oh you guys, I went out to Michael's and remember I said I wanted to try the denim um, blossom cake, but I wasn't gonna pay $14.99. Yeah, I paid $14.99. Not only once, not only twice, three times but I did get 30% off the third one so yeah I just I wanted this so bad I really want I wanted to make a cardigan out of it um yeah but I didn't make a cardigan I made a baby sweater with a hood with ears <laughs> So yeah, so there's that. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So yeah, I I just I love the way this turned out. I really oh so cute. Um, it's got this drawstring. So yeah, this is a six to eight month old. Um, a four six to eight month old they child children child <laughs> words um i will be putting this on my etsy page for sale okay uh i just gotta get a good picture of it <laughs> so yeah so this was um was made out of this and this is what is this this was cotton and acrylic, right? And it's called Denim Days. Yeah, 61% cotton, 39% acrylic. So, and I posted I, on my Facebook and my um, YouTube, I, I asked what buttons should I use on it? I think A1. Uh, it was a toss up between A and C. So I had three buttons and I said A, B, C. And so, yeah, but guess what? I found these. And so I decided to do, oh, use these instead. And these are, whoop, is, this, is that going to focus? No, maybe. Um. Anyways, it says made with love on them. So, yeah. But I thought they were really cute. Anyway, okay, so that's going to be in my Etsy page or Etsy site. Um, we'll see maybe in the next day or two. Okay, so I guess that's all I have to say. I mean, that's 40 minutes of me just blabbering on about stuff, right? Mm. Oh, man. I missed my mouth. I swear to God. These were, these were clean pajama pants darn it <laughs> uh, okay I'm gonna go <laughs> uh, okay uh, I will be doing an update on the um, Alora cloak soon that's a story and a half you guys uh, okay so stay tuned for that um, and I guess I will chat with you guys soon okay I love you all bye